Hi, I'm Liam Fontaine, and I'm here for a very special episode of Liam Fontaine Meets, the heroes of Edinburgh. We know not all superheroes wear capes. We've got Iron Man, Captain America, David Gray. So for the last few weeks, we've been asking you wonderful people of Edinburgh for your nominations. We had hundreds come in. Obviously, we couldn't go through them all, but we've picked four very special people today that we're going to go and surprise. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's one of the episodes that it's a pleasure to be a part of. This is Liam Fontaine Meets, Heroes of Edinburgh obviously made possible by our sponsors and our own heroes, traditional roofing and building. Let's go. Hi, I'm Liam Fontaine, and this is Liam Fontaine Meets. And we've arrived at the destination of our first hero of Edinburgh. Sharon nominated Pauline, and this is Peter, who's the centre manager and going to be our decoy today. So Sharon, can you tell me why you nominated Pauline? Pauline deserves recognition because of the things that she does. She makes sure that people who have become homeless are going to have food on their table, kids' Christmas presents under the tree, um, helps young mums who she helps in the centre, have gave them jobs here to keep them in employment. She just de deserves some recognition. Great. And Peter's actually going to be our decoy today, so Peter, could you uh, explain the, the decoy story we've got going? Yeah, Pauline believes because Edinburgh City Council has been given cuts to community centres, especially in North Edinburgh, Pauline believes that uh, our children's clubs could be closing down and possibly the centre could close down as well. She has no idea. Let's go get her. What goes on in the, the main yeah, hall? Well you can see this today, this is the uh, Pemsters Christmas party, so there's two different groups there, we're over 50 as we say, mm -hmm. uh, but the community centre works with everybody, from babies to old people, disabled people, able-bodied people. The door is open, we've got an open door policy, so anyone's entitled to come in here. It's not a community centre owned by the council, it's a community centre that's owned by the community. That's so I'm just here to manage it, and then when I move on eventually one day, someone else will come in and take it over as well. Uh, yeah, so obviously we're here for uh, Pauline today and she thinks she's going to be talking to the, uh, the North Edinburgh News about the uh, community centre. But uh, obviously we know otherwise, so it'd be great if you can go get her. I shall go and get her right now. Fantastic. Uh, it's to David in North Edinburgh as well. I've ruptured my, I've ruptured my Achilles. Oh no! No, I know, I know. Tell me about it. Um, anyway, this is, sorry, this is Pauline and she's going to speak up on behalf of what we do in the centre as well because of the cuts she knows first hand. Fantastic, so Pauline, nice to meet you, I'm Liam Fontaine. Hi um, Yeah, so obviously Peter's been telling us about the uh, the cuts that's been up in here and so we just wanted to obviously speak to a, another person and, and get your view on it all and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. Um, with Peter, obviously with the centre being cut, I'm, I run a project called Lift, which is based within the centre. So if the centre's cut and there's no centre, there's no lift. But we've been going a year past November and working with 200 and nearly 250 families, which we had said for our funders we'd work with 100. And that's in, a year, in less than a year actually, we're 250. So that shows how much our needs needed incentive. We work with families on low income, which goes from um, the parent right down to grandma, depending on who's caring for the child. So if the centre gets cut and there's no centre, there's no lift, where do these families go? They don't fit any criteria anywhere else in this area. This is the only place that they fit. So we would have to, I don't know where we'd go, you know. So it's a ma if, this, if the centre's cut or they make big cuts to the funding in the north, it's going to affect so many, not just elderly, children, parents, single parents, single dads, it'll affect loads of people. Well, um, obviously Peter's been showing me about and telling me everything that goes on here but um, and it's great in that and I hope that the, the centre does obviously get its funding that it needed but um, I've got a, a little bit of a surprise for you. Um, this is actually all about you. Um, <laughs> Shut up, dude. Um, so my name's Liam Fontaine and I do an online TV show called Liam Fontaine Meets and uh, in the past few weeks we've been running a campaign for people who uh, Are you no, no, we're not. No. <laughs> People who think that uh, deserve recognition, and uh, we ran a campaign called The Heroes of Edinburgh, and um, Sharon nominated you, and you were one of the winners. So we're here to present you with your Heroes of Edinburgh trophy. <laughs> you deserve it. And, <laughs> and you've also got a, a card with a little something in it. You won't mind opening that. We 
we've heard all about all the good work that you've done and a lot of people that obviously think loads of you so it's just a small you something. Thank, thank you, I didn't know what to say. I'm speechless for a change. <laughs> oh, I don't deserve that, it's everybody that does it in the community, the community are amazing, it's not just me. So just because I'm loud and gobby and make people and I'm not scared to ask for anything. But it's everybody, I mean the lift team have been amazing, Peter's been amazing, the whole community has been amazing, people fair far have been coming in and stuff as well, so I don't know what to say, I'm so much. <laughs>
yeah, so basically we just want to obviously have a little chat with you and uh, see what you see what you do and have a little chat and just see how it goes. So there you go, mate. There's your award. Thank you very much. Yeah, so Brian, I'm obviously delighted to meet you and obviously um, present you with your award for the Heroes of Edinburgh. That was obviously a campaign that was run on Liam Fontaine Meets and Scott from Traditional Roofing Building sort of nominated you. And um, you know, it's just a small token of appreciation from myself and obviously the people we appreciate all the work that you do and the things you provide so I just wanted to find out a bit about it and just have a little chat with you about it. First of all, absolutely delighted. Thanks Scott and Lee for, for nominating me. Um, we do such good stuff here with the boys club and the youth centre that we're a wee bit um, float under the radar if you like. We don't shout enough a little bit of good things we do, you know. But I'm sure the community appreciates it so to get that kind of recognition is phenomenal. Um, yes, I've been associated with the Boys Club, well, Red Path Albion now since 1976, which is uh, 42 years, and I've been here at the Youth Centre as a manager um, for 30 years. So, if you combine both, you know, it's 72 years, if you like, throwing stuff into the community every day. Um, obviously, when I was growing up, was, I thought that like, youth centres and, and community centres were so important in sort of my development and anyone's development from like a boy or a girl into a young man, young woman. Uh, well obviously you were nominated by uh, Scott and Lee and um, so Scott just a few words on why you obviously wanted to choose Brian because it's... Well just like, like I said before just all his hard work with the Palmini Youth Centre and Red Path Academy. My son goes to Red Path, plays football with them uh, and I think he's a well deserved winner so just a big congratulations Brian. And, uh, Thank you very much Scott. Thank you very much for the nomination. No worries. Cheers. So obviously, pleasure for me to meet you as well. Um, Thanks for coming. And it's a, like I said, I've heard a lot about what you do, and it's a, like I said, a pleasure. And yeah, Liam Fontaine meets Hero of Edinburgh. Hi, we're at our last hero of the day for the Hero of Edinburgh campaign by Liam Fontaine meets, and it's Edith Park. And I'm with Emma, one of the people who nominated her. So I'm gonna have a little chat with Emma about her, and then uh, we'll obviously go and surprise her. She actually thinks she's having a family portrait done today, so that'll be quite fun. Um, so Emma, yeah, she was nominated five times. Yeah. So can you tell me a bit about her? Um, Edith's one of the, like, the heart of the community, always. Anyone's got any problems, need to babysit her. We call her Edie McCready, because she's always got a gang of kids behind her. Um, she deserves it more than anyone I know. Fantastic, well, I'm looking forward to meeting her. Um, I've met a few social groups today, so let's go and meet her. <laughs> Edith, I've got a surprise for you. Yeah. I've got a surprise for you. This is our good friend, we're on Hiya, nice to meet you. Don't be worried, we're scared. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I'll tell you what it is. I do an online uh, TV show called Liam Fontaine Meets, and uh, recently we've been running a campaign for um, people who are local heroes in the areas, and uh, you got nominated five separate times by people and obviously Emma is one of the ones who nominated you and you've been selected as one of the, the heroes so um, I'm here to present you with a trophy oh. and a little card and a gift from myself and us at Liam Fontaine meets. Well, thank you very much. Thank so there's your trophy there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and there's your, uh, your card. You no problem at all. Thank you. Yeah so Edith, uh, what it is obviously you've been selected for your help around the community and what you do and I've obviously heard a small bit about it from, from Emma. Um, but obviously, I just want to talk to you about it and everything you do. Like your, I heard you do like a lot of child mind and help with a lot of the kids and things. So, mm -hmm. just want to have a little chat Not with you so about much it. Now, but years, for years, I've done watching kids and and two foster boys as well. Dude, my nan was actually used to foster as well. So it's obviously okay. something like I could appreciate, it and it's very much appreciated throughout the the communities of, like, of the people that do it. Do you know what I mean? So. Mm. You know, it's just a great, it's a great honour for me to meet you. Pleasure. It's a great honour for um, you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I said, it's it's just something that um, all your everyone, everyone in here knew. There's a lot of people in here. <laughs> I know. So I've I mean, never seen so many people in my house at one time. <laughs> I know. So I think it's just a small token of appreciation around like a good time, of the, a good, a special time of the year. Obviously, with it being Christmas as well. That you know, um, obviously, it's a only a little sort of small, small oh, thing. Right. But you know, it's something that hopefully you'll appreciate and um, just let you know that a lot of people think a lot of you around the, the community. Well, thanks very much. That's so, a yeah, bit of a tear to my eyes. That's fine. It's an <laughs> absolute pleasure to meet you and um, I'm glad that I could, I could meet thank you, you and, and give you that. So, no you problem. Could. Yes, thank Cheers. you. Thanks very much. Uh, yeah, so that's it after today's day. It's, um, it's been a pleasure. It's been uh, 
quite humbling at times as well and just seeing what people do it's nice albeit just a small token of appreciation a, a trophy from uh, Liam Fontaine meets and obviously with the heroes of and just a little something in a card and um, all these people obviously have so many people that think so much of them and it's just great for to be able to give them a little bit of recognition especially around this time of year with it being Christmas so it's been great and I look forward to coming back in 2019 so tune in and uh, Liam Fontaine meets see you later